What up, Fight World? With your boy, Troy King, Boxing Ego. We're out here. Good event in Oakland. You Giving know back it. to the community. So, what do you think about the Bay Area? You're from Akron, Ohio. What have you noticed about the Bay? Man, the, the, uh, the people are really, uh, they really um, embedded in, into the community. They really help out each other. You got Mr. Fab out here. I've heard he's put on this like food drive and giving away clothes and food, uh, you know, to people. And he's been doing it for 10 years. That's a long, that's a long time. 10 years is a long time. So, um, you know, it's a good event. I'm out here. It's my first time helping out with my ego. You got the shirts. You know what I'm saying? Team Give Back. You got what is this? T. Yerba Mate T. Shit real. Fucks with it. You know, we out here, we helping out, doing our thing. All right, and we just had a fight weekend. Miguel Cotto versus Saul Canelo Alvarez. You watched the fight? Yes, I did. What happened? Who won? First, we're gonna we're gonna say that everybody who was uh, on the on the past interviews saying I know what the fuck I was talking about. I told y'all, fuck, I told you, told you. The man was too small, and he was getting hit with too many damn uppercuts. All right, the left uppercut, like I said before. Man, just too small, man. And then uh, on my past interviews, at that elite level, defense is what wins. And Canelo. Didn't they get, make fun of you when you said Canelo? Didn't they make fun of me when I said Canelo had Cotto? better defense than Cotto? And as you can see, the man was in there, couldn't hit nothing. They, they both stupid. missed some shots, but Canelo looked pretty slick Canelo's in there. D was very sharp and slick. And a comment I made in that initial interview, I said that Canelo, in my opinion, has studied Floyd Mayweather and taken chapters out of his playbook. Yes, he has. And I seen that in this fight. Did you see that? Yes, I did, because he do, he was doing this one move I always see Floyd do. When you throw a combination and try to end a combination to the body, you could throw a bang, 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 bang. Floyd will slip it upstairs, and then when you throw to the body, you jump out the way like this and uh, evade the body shot. And Canelo kept doing it every time Cotto tried to go to his body, he would uh, jump back and evade the body shot. He just made it an easy night with his D. He was kind of like playing around for real. He didn't even take the round serious. And that's because Cotto was too small. Like I said, he was just too small. Can't be in there with a man whose body is uh, okay, naturally filled out at that like weight. Right it's too big. Nothing he could do, he got his ass whooped. And he could have stopped him. That's the sick part. He didn't, uh, if he would have put turned on the gas like he did in the 12th round, if he would have did that in the 8th round, he would have stopped him. Because Cotto couldn't do shit. He couldn't hurt the man. I agree. I think I think he, knowing the magnitude of the fight, he kind of paid a lot of respect to yes, Cotto. He did. didn't want to make any mistakes. And he didn't turn up the offense as much as he could have in, yeah, in spots. I agree. But that because he probably thought that Cotto was kind of sandbagging a little bit and then was going to try to trick him and, and Explain suck him what in. sandbagging is for the casual It's kind of like when you're acting like you don't have, <clears throat> when you, like if I'm in the ring and I'm acting like I don't have a certain skill set or doing it, it sucks the fighter into doing more than what he's supposed to do. Kind of like and, playing possum a little yeah, bit. Yeah, playing possum and then I, 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 I hit you with some shit and get your ass out of there. So that's what Canelo was probably thinking. And then, you know, but that was all that Cotto had. That was really it. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't do nothing with him. This man was too big, and they, but they both, it's just that they both short in stature, but as far as Canelo's body is just too big, it's too big, nothing he can do about it. So Cotto, he returned to Puerto Rico, and he told the media out there that he believes he won the fight by eight rounds, eight of 12 rounds. Why the fuck? Why in the hell would he say something like that? You said, why the fuck you lying? Why the fuck? <laughs> you lying. Dog, he clearly didn't win the fight. He got his ass whooped. I gave him three rounds. Three three rounds? I gave him three. Not eight? And I, no, fuck no. I gave him three. I don't even, I don't even see the three rounds that he could have won. Even when I wanted to give him the eighth round, Canelo was still... I want to give him the eighth round because he was busy, but the in-between those busy shots, Canelo, he was missing shots. Canelo was chopping him in between the shots, hitting him with flush shit. No, oh, he just didn't do good because he, the man, Canelo, just got more skill and he's a, his body is bigger. He's faster and he has a higher skill level than Cotto. And everybody was banking on that stupid hook. And, yeah, that's a good weapon to somebody who's inexperienced, but just... 
if I know that, Ca that Cotto got a good hook in the whole boxing world, no, you think Canelo didn't train for the hook? He kept his hand right here. Every time he tried to get up, he kept right here on the side of his face. But every time Cotto tried to load up the hook or even double the hook, he just turned to the side, which is what Floyd does. And then every time he get the hook off, like I'm using the camera as an example, as the fighter. So when he throw the hook, if you like this, the hook was going to land to the body because I'm square. But when you turn to the side and put your hand right here, the hook is going to hit right here. And this go right here and I didn't do anything. It's all about... And that gave you a partial target. It, give, it gives you a partial target. It's different between standing like this. You get hit with the hook around the side and to the body real low right here. And when you boxing. But when you, as soon as you turn to the side like this... The, and, you, and you just go down a little bit, you block the hook every time. And then he knew that. He knew that. And Floyd did the same thing because Emmanuel Stewart was saying that the way Floyd is standing, uh, Cotto couldn't get off the hook at an angle. He, he getting a trajectory, the hook is not going to land. So there wasn't nothing he can do, man. I knew that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I could beat Canelo, though. I could beat Canelo with experience see that's what you motherfuckers don't understand when i be saying that i'll be talking about as an experienced fighter not as you know a fighter of right now because i don't have enough experience but 15 plus fights 20 fights i could beat him because i know he just doesn't move his feet he doesn't cut off the ring good and he and he gets away from his jab but if he start using his jab he can make it a hard night but i could i, I will beat canelo because i'm bigger than canelo just like just like he is it's like Canelo was bigger than Cotto. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot. On the spot. They didn't, HBO pay-per-view, they didn't release the actual fight night rehydration weights from the eye test. What was Cotto's weight and what was Canelo's weight? It looked like Cotto was probably like 63 to 64. Canelo had to be 70. All of 70 pounds. 170? 170. You know what I'm saying?